Number 38. How will an increase in the temperature affect each of the following equilibria? And how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? And then we have letter B out of the bunch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it better. So I have N2 gas plus O2 gas. And this comes to equilibrium with 2NO gas. Okie dokie. So the first thing is when we're talking about, sh uh, you know, changing conditions, temperature, volume, and we're going on with the equilibria, we're talking about Le Chatelier's principle. No math involved here, just concepts. Especially when they give us a delta H value. I don't care about this number. I just care about this in terms of heat. This will make it so much easier when we talk about the temperature part. So remember, guys, in previous uh, chapters, whichever that was, we talked about delta H, which was enthalpy. And remember, enthalpy, if it's a positive value, which is, is it's here, right, it's 181, this is endothermic. So this is an endothermic reaction, and that means that the heat is absorbed. Exothermic means that it's released, and this would be a negative value. If the heat is absorbed, it stays on the reactant side. So I'm just going to say that I have plus heat over here. By stating this, and for, ooh, that's color clashing. By stating the heat in the actual reaction, I don't have to worry about this anymore. Now I'm just going to focus on this and answer my two questions. So the first thing they want to know, actually, this is color clashing too. Yikes. Oh, so much more beautiful. Okay, so increase in temperature. That's the first thing. So what's going to happen to this, this reaction when I increase the temp? Well, here's Le Chatelier's principle, right? If you increase the temp of something, it's way too hot. Think about, you know, a really, really, really hot day, and you can't get to the beach, right? If it's a really, really hot day, it's too hot. Me personally, I will not be outside. I will be inside. I go away from the heat. And that's what chemistry equilibrium do as well. So if it's too hot, they go away from the heat. And literally, it will shift away from the word heat. That's why I like to put the word here. So I will go away towards the heat. I won't go towards the heat. I will go away. So there is the arrow. I will go away from that word. So that means that I will shift to the right. And what this means is that if I'm going this direction, all of the products will increase and the reactants will drop. But for right now, we just care about shifting, but that's basically the next information to know. Okay, let's go to volume now. They said that we want to decrease the volume. Okay, so volume, remember, is just space, the space inside of this reaction vessel. So if you're dropping the volume, that means you have less space. And if you do have less space, you want to favor the side in which has less moles of gas on it. So the thing that we have to do here is find out how much um, moles of gas are on each side. So look at those coefficients. I see that I have nothing in front of the N2. That means I have one N2. I have nothing in front of the O2. That means I have one O2. So one plus one. I have a total of two moles on my reactant side. And then I have a two in front of the NO, right? And all these are gases. That's why I take them into consideration. So there's two total moles. Maybe I'll make that green. Two total moles on the product side. And look here, guys, 2 equals 2. Is there a side that has less moles? No, they're both the same. So is it going to shift? You got it. There's no shift since there's no less mole side. So if I decrease the volume, there is no change because there is no side that has the lesser moles. And that's it, guys. So if we want to just box these off, there you go. So hopefully this helped.
Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. That would really help the channel out. And thank you so much for that. I appreciate you guys. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Keep studying hard. I believe in you. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.